So I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I started this channel. Probably noticed that I don't do a lot of talking on this channel um, at all. In fact, this is my first video talking in front of the camera, um, which takes a bit of getting used to for me. But I think it's important to, one, have a little bit of a face to a channel um, to kind of explain why I want to do this, this channel and take this, this journey with Off Grid Path. Um, it started because we had an opportunity to renovate a rundown static caravan and I would say 95% of that renovation was down to YouTube and learning through YouTube. So before we did the renovation I had no experience whatsoever, I mean nothing, literally nothing. And everything I, I found youtube the best resource there was a there was a few times where i consulted friends and um family about you know certain things but ultimately youtube was the go-to resource to enable that that renovation um and since then i've used it i mean, obviously used it before but i've used it a lot more since then just because um it helped so much so the idea with Off Grid Path was to kind of give back a little bit in terms of letting people see what we did and the mistakes we made. But I appreciate there's no talking in any of those videos and it's just kind of visual. So I thought that I would talk a little bit more going forward and just some of the mistakes and things we made. But this video is just very much about why I decided to start Off Grid Path and, and um, what I want to do with it and the the idea is to the the name off grid path is very much what it says so it's it's a a journey to becoming more off grid and that's not just off grid in the in the sense that it's that you know the, the definition sense where it's being off the grid for for living it's also personally being more off grid and living a wilder life to a degree, um, certainly being outside in nature a lot more and developing skills outside in nature, so wilderness skills, bushcraft, um, just hand, handy skills basically. Um, and that's from a building sense, uh, so renovating the cabin um, and then also from the woodland side. I love the woods and it's a big passion of mine. Um, I, it turns out that I really like renovation as well um, having done that but that was very much and you'll see in the videos is very much a, um, a bodge level renovation I've realized one of the one of the, the amazing realizations I had doing the cabin renovation was that I thought it was a dark science I thought that you know I couldn't possibly do this like change of windows like you have to have expertise in that and actually it's all really really simple um, especially when you're watching instructional videos on YouTube where someone breaks that down really simply and then you try and you might mess it up first time but ultimately it's a very all of the building side is very simple I think I found the hardest thing and what I'm really not very good at is the finishing which is just that real fine um, finishing work that that people do and that you know on that sort of carpentry level um, I guess you could call it like cabinet maker level where it's just very precision, beautiful carpentry. That's really where I, I'm not very good at that at all. But the bodge kind of laborious side in terms of like the structural stuff, I found quite straightforward. So going from that, I realized that actually I love the cabin and I love that lifestyle. Um, heading towards a more self-sufficient, self-reliant is a good word, um, where you're more dependent on yourselves and others, but you, you're building up your own skills, which I think is really important. Building up your own skills so you're more self-reliant, so you can rely on yourself and not other people. Um, and I think in the day and age we live in, I think that's quite important because I think, you know, in the last 50 years we've kind of steered away from from using common sense and uh, you know it's very easy just to pick up a phone or google whoever and get someone else to do that job when actually 
all it takes is for you to just give it a go and if it doesn't work it doesn't work you then then you 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 find that person that can do that but that learning process i found is is really self-empowering and um great most of the time it does work and it might not work as well as a skilled person doing that exact job but you learn a little bit more step by step so the idea of this channel is to one give back to you know show our process in doing up the cabin but also to develop new skills so um, I'm definitely not an expert in anything but it's learning through doing so I find it um, really helpful to film what I'm doing um, because that gives me that kind of purpose um, because most of the things I'm doing are kind of non-essential things although I enjoy them it's nice to have that purpose where you're filming it and it gives you a, um, a kind of kick up the arse basically to do it um, as much as I love doing it it's they're, they're not essential things like making a pot hanger or whatever it might be so that for me this whole journey now is this off-grid path is to becoming more self-reliant and, and self-sustainable and that's a very long journey one because I don't have a lot of money I, I can't necessarily buy land to to uh, to do that myself I'll, I'll do another video on on how the the caravan cabin came about um, and also these woods that I'm in most of the time are a good friends of mine they own these woods so I'm incredibly fortunate to be able to have these as a playground because as you know if you live in the UK it's very difficult to well you can't go into any woods and make a fire it's kind of it's a bit shit really um, so you know I'm very lucky in the fact that I've got friends who own a, a patch of woodland um, and they're really happy for me to come in and practice bushcraft and um, so yeah, you know that's a kind of lesson in uh, in appreciating um, what you have because that is amazing to be able to have that. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited about these next um, you know few months or year or how, however long it's going to be to just kind of progress my own knowledge and skills. Um, certainly in probably more bushcraft, woodland um, side of things, really. Uh, so that's that's exciting. Um, so I hope that gives you a bit of a background on, on why I started this channel. And maybe I'll do some more kind of talking um, videos specifically. The, the videos that I want to make are just nice. The idea of the videos are just this, this kind of relaxing, meditative, um, just all natural sounds, very slow. Uh, I really like watching those sort of things on YouTube and that's, that's the kind of style I want. So I don't really want to talk in the, in the films. Um, so maybe it's better just to do these standalone talking bits rather than talk in the films and leave those to that kind of slow nature sounds, kind of nice, relaxed films. But, um, but yeah, thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoy some of the other videos putting up on Off Grid Park.